Exciting 2025 data has just come out showing that type 1 diabetics are living longer and healthier lives. I've got the whole story for you. Hit the like and subscribe button and we'll jump right into it. Thanks for joining us today. If you like our channel's content, feel free to hit the link in the description and buy us a coffee. We appreciate all our viewers who support our channel. Now on to our video. 2025 Type 1 Diabetes Breakthrough – Living Longer and Healthier Real Talk Warriors, the latest 2025 data says 9.5 million people around the world are living with diagnosed type 1 diabetes. That's a 13% jump since 2021. But this video is not about doom and gloom. It's about why people with type 1 are living longer than ever before, and why, if you have T1D, your future is way brighter than it used to be. Global prevalence, what the numbers really mean. So let's start with the new numbers from the 2025 International Diabetes Federation Diabetes Atlas. Globally, 9.5 million people with diagnosed type 1 diabetes. That's a 13% increase since 2021. The top three countries are United States, around 1.5 million, India, just under 1 million, China, a bit over 600,000. Now it's easy to see increase in panic, but here's the key point. A lot of this rise is from better diagnosis and better counting, not just more people getting sick. More kids and adults are being correctly diagnosed earlier instead of being missed or misdiagnosed. That means more people are getting insulin in time. More people are accessing modern tools like CGMs and pumps. More people are actually living long enough to be counted in these stats. So yes, the number is bigger. But part of that story is that we're doing a better job keeping people alive. Life expectancy, the new reality. Here's where the hope really kicks in. Not long ago, having type 1 diabetes could cut 15 years or more off your life. Today, in many countries, that gap has narrowed to about 7 to 10 years on average, and in some places, it's even smaller. Recent data suggests that on average, men with type 1 diabetes are now living to around 65 years. Women with type 1 diabetes are living to around 68 years. That might not sound wild at first, but compare it to a few decades ago, when a lot of people with type 1 didn't make it anywhere near retirement age. Even more powerful, over roughly the last 30 years, deaths from type 1 have dropped by about 25%. That's huge. And remember, these are global averages. In countries with strong access to insulin, CGMs, pumps, and regular medical care, many people with type 1 are now living into their 70s and 80s, having a full career, retirement, and seeing grandkids grow up. Now, why we're living longer? The upside. CGM sensors, pumps, people exercising, families, clinic visits. So what changed? Why are type 1 warriors living longer than ever? A few big reasons. Continuous glucose monitors, CGMs, real-time numbers instead of guessing. Trend arrows that help you act before you crash or spike. Less time in dangerous highs and lows equals less long-term damage. Automated insulin delivery, AID systems. Pumps that talk to your CGM. They adjust insulin for you in the background. That means better A1C, more time in range, and less burnout. Better insulins and treatment plans. Faster acting insulins. Longer basal options. More personalized care instead of one size fits all. Telehealth and remote monitoring. Your data can be shared with your doctor or diabetes team. Faster adjustments equals fewer years of being poorly controlled. Research on lab-grown islet cells and cures. Clinical trials are already showing some people going insulin independent for months. We're not fully there yet, but we are closer than any previous generation, and technology and medicines are improving monthly. All of this adds up to one big reality. You're not living in the old days of diabetes anymore. You're living in the best era we've ever had for type 1 care, and it's still improving. So if you're watching this with type 1 diabetes, or you love someone who has it, hear this. Yes, this disease is serious. It demands respect every single day. But you are also living in a time where people with T1D are living longer. The tools are smarter and kinder to your body. And the research pipeline is fuller than it's ever been. Your job is not to be perfect. Your job is to stay in the game. Keep checking in with your care team. Use the best tools you can access. Learn a little more each year. Because the longer you live with type 1, the more of these advances you get to benefit from. 
If you found this encouraging, hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribe if you want more updates on breakthroughs, clinical trials, and real talk about living long with type 1. And tell me in the comments what's the biggest change in diabetes care you've seen in your lifetime, and how has it changed your hope for the future? So that's good news in 2025. Diabetes health is a lot easier than it was to maintain 30, 40, 50 years ago. Now, I will tell you this, one of the things I really believe in uh, is carb counting. If you have a phone, then you can download any app. There are dozens of them. And I check all the time if I'm gonna have a hamburger, as an example. How many carbs are in a hamburger? How many carbs are in a hamburger with cheese? My doctor wants me to stay at 50 carbs per meal or below. This is one of the best ways I have been able to control my blood sugars and uh, keep them, keep my A1C almost always at a 6.4 to 6.5 range. I attribute that to my overall good health and uh, that is not an expensive thing to have. Almost everybody has a cell phone today. So if it's hard for you to, wherever you are, to get a hold of some of these different tools like glucometers and that sort of thing, you can always use your phone. Carb counting is one of the most important tools, in my opinion. And um, talk to your doctor, find out what your physiology is like and you know everybody is a different size different weight different height find out what your doctor thinks you should have in the number of carbs per meal and if you can stick to that you're going to control your blood sugars and your overall health is going to be much better as we wait for a cure we'll have another exciting video for you here on type 1 diabetic warriors very soon until then take care and we'll talk later bye bye